Hello, welcome to a quick introduction on how to import one of your existing web pages into Builder. I'm just going to dive right in. So in this case, we're going to use our friends over at stilt.com and we're going to take their existing homepage, which has a very nice layout, and instead of having to recreate it here from scratch, we're just going to import it. It's a pretty easy process, but it takes a little bit of correction on our end and it'll remove anything interactive. So note that if you have anything that interacts on click, that'll get wiped out but you'll be able to still pull in all of your layout and all of your styling and save you a lot of time that way. So let's get started. All we have to do is take a fresh new builder page and add a box. Cool. Now we just right click on that, go to the bottom and choose import from URL. In my case, I'm just going to take their homepage. So I'm just going to cut a C or type in stilt.com and hit OK. This process can take a couple minutes because it's a pretty memory intensive process to digest your existing web page, crutch it, figure out what it looks like for mobile, tablet, and desktop, and then reformat it in a way that still resembles your original page and saves you all this time, but works well within the builder editor. Okay, it looks like our page is pulled in. This looks pretty good. This already saved us a ton of time pulling in all of the styling all of these columns, formatting everything. And as you might imagine, clicking anything is pretty easily editable. So if I wanna change what this guy says, I can just say, wow, this guilt is amazing. <laughs> there you go. Now, I would suggest always doing a couple things. When you import a page from a URL, it's gonna pull on everything on that page. In most cases, that's gonna include your header and footer, which you don't need because you already have one. So in this case, I'm just gonna click on this header. And in order to make sure I grab whatever element wraps all this stuff, I'm gonna to go to the layers. And I'm gonna fiddle around here to see which seems to be, it looks like this selects everything down below. But this one selects everything in the header. Cool. I'm just gonna delete that. There we go. And now we see our normal header up here below it. If I scroll to the very bottom, I should see two footers as well. We pulled in a footer and we already have a footer, so we're just gonna to wanna to delete that as well. So it looks like this is our normal page footer, and this is the one that got imported. And so I'm just gonna click surrounding everything, and there we go. This looks pretty good for our page. We can check out all the different responsive styles, and everything looks pretty dang good. If anything didn't come out right, like you might have noticed, if I go back up here, these uh, images are left aligned, but they're supposed to be right aligned. I can just shift click all of these to select them all, go over to style and tell them to center line. You may have to make small little corrections, or if you did anything fancy on your page, you might have to recreate little bits, but hopefully this will save you a lot of time and you'll find it very useful, and thank you for checking it out. If you have any questions, email me at steve at builder.io. Thanks for watching.